In this episode, I am going to create an XML document based on the XML schema that we created in a previous episode. Uh, this particular XML document is going to use that XML schema. I want to show some of the details of things that need to be filled in at the beginning of the documents uh, and uh, show the relationship between what was defined in the schema with uh, what was or what is defined in the file that I'm going to create. Okay, so uh, since this is an XML document, it does have to start off with the exact same um, prologue that uh, we had in our previous example. So I'm going to go ahead and create that here. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we need to do is have our root tag for our document. and. Uh, what I'm going to do is split my screen here and let me go ahead and bring up this uh, XML schema. So uh, our root tag in defined in our XML schema was this curricula uh, tag. And uh, in order for me to bring this uh, particular tag into the document, I do need to uh, define an XML namespace based on um, that schema. So what I need to do is something like the following. I'm going to, I'm going to create a, a namespace called JCG. Those just happen to be my initials. And what I'm going to do then is say that, you know, within this namespace JCG, there is uh, a tag called curricula, and that this namespace JCG is defined in the following location. And you'll see here that this corresponds to the default namespace that I had, or the target namespace that I had defined in the XML schema um, in our previous uh, episode. So <clears throat> let me go ahead and define that here. And then there are a couple of other namespaces that we need to include as well in order for uh, the schema to be used properly. So I'm going to go ahead and add those here as well. We have XML namespace XSI, which is going to stand for an X, uh, XML schema instance. And that's defined by the W3C. So it's www.w3.org slash 2001 slash XML schema dash instance. And then that tag, or this namespace, this XSI namespace, gets used uh, uh, by XML to be able to resolve the location of the, um, of the schema um, when doing XML file validation. So let's go ahead and add all of this information into the file. actually two pieces that are needed here. One of them is just the abstract name for the schema and then the other one is the the second parameter is the actual file name for the schema. Okay, so those are that's it for the preliminaries. Let me go ahead and just close off this tag. And now I may now I'm going to be able to add course descriptions. So let me go ahead and do that course. So the courses that I'm teaching this semester subject CSA I'm teaching this course the number is 470/470A/570A slash slash Uh, let's see, the other part of this was the title of the course, so service oriented architecture and web services. And so let's take a look at the structure of this and switch back to the curricula. So if you remember when we created this, we had uh, a course element defined by this here. It had a subject, a number, and title. Also had a short title, 
and then the university de uh, definition. So let's go ahead and add all of that as well. So there's the title. There's a short title, which is defined by short. This is Web Services and SOA. There's also university name. So university and the campus attribute for the campus is Oxford. Uni university. And the name of the university is defined by this tag here. It's Miami University. Okay, so this particular construct was defined by this part of the schema. So we had the university, and then it had as part of it an, a subtag was name, and then the attribute for university was campus. And that's what I've uh, that's what I've done uh, in this part of the XML file. Okay, so uh, let's go back and finish this up. So the next tag is. Uh, is the instructor, instructor, <clears throat> and the rank is associate professor, and name is Gerald C. Gnad. And the semester is spring. And finally, the year is 2008. OK, so that's the information for one of the courses that I am teaching. I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this and add information for a second course that I'm teaching. Now, one of the things to remember is that the curricula root tag could have as underneath it uh, any number of course tags. So you look in the XML document, curricula tag can have a course tag and it can have an, an unbounded number of them, so as many as you like. So that's what I'm going to do is add another course description. The other course that I'm teaching this semester it looks like I have an error. 274, CSA 274. It looks like I have an error up here. I got rid of that. Okay. And the name of that course is Data Abstraction and Data Structures. Short name is just Data Structures. The <clears throat> university and campus are the same, uh, same as, uh, and then the instructor is the same as well, and semester and year. Okay, so this is basically the structure of the XML document that was defined by uh, the schema that we defined in the previous uh, previous episode. Uh, you'll notice that uh, this particular document has. Uh, many of the features that we discussed before, like attributes, um, we have subtags at two levels of subtags. So we have course tags that have uh, subtags for subject, number, title, short, university, and so forth. And then the university and instructor um, tags have subtags as well. So anyway, so this is uh, our sample XML file. Um, and um, we've seen how this corresponds to um, our XML schema. So anyway, that concludes this episode.